Kilo Mike 6, Yankee Sierra Sierra. Uh, the Yankee Sierra Sierra, could you give me the call again, please? Roger, Roger, it's Kilo Mike 6, Kilo Mexico 6, Yankee Sierra Sierra. Name is Dave, Delta Adam Victor Edward, over. Okay, Dave, real good. I got a Kilo Mike 6, Yankee Sierra Sierra. Finally, Dave, it's a pleasure to meet you by Amateur Radio. Name here is Roger, as in Roger Wilco, Roger over now. We're located near Phoenix, Arizona. Um, about 20 miles northwest of downtown Phoenix, in the Valley of the Sun. You're sitting the port 5 and 9, and actually got you off the side of my antenna. So I'm bringing the antenna around. I got you up in Idaho, if I got your call right. So back to you. Kilo Mike 6, Yankee Sierra Sierra, WA9 Mike Sierra Radio. Uh, Roger, Roger, Roger. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Sorry, could resist. Uh, yeah, the name is Dave, and uh, yeah, I'm in I'm in Idaho, southwest part of Idaho, actually located uh, about 30 miles west of Boise, and about 30 miles east of Ontario, Oregon, right on the border. So we're in the southwest part of the state in the high desert, about about 2,500 feet, uh, running an ICOM 7300. And I just put up a new antenna, so I'm playing with it this right now. You're my first contact on, on it on 20 today. I uh, put a, I built a nine to one on it, and then I ran a. Uh, it's, uh, it's supposed to be an in-fed random wire, so I ran a, a 70 foot, uh, wire, uh, up about uh, 20 feet in the center, and then vertical back down in a V, and um, running 100 watts to the ICOM 7300, and. Uh, yeah, coming to you out of southwest Idaho. Uh, back to you, Roger. Okay, Dave, real good. Well, the antenna is doing a fine job. No problem about that whatsoever. Man, the audio sounds great. 7300 is a nice old radio. So, I mean, I think, I think it's one of the better radios for the buck. I had to know I got one. <laughs> <laughs> a, little ba- a little prejudice, a little bias on that, but uh, real good, yeah. Well, I'm not using I don't use it that much, really. It's my backup radio right now. I'm on a, an oldie, sort of like me. Kenwood TS 940. The old gal's about 33 years old now. And I'm driving a Mercury 3 amplifier to about 400 watts on the peaks. And the antenna is a 4 element Yagi up about 45 feet. Now aiming in your direction. I thought I rotated it. But my only three brain cells are not working too well this morning. And I didn't have the uh, rotor box connected up to my computer. I thought I, oh, I didn't push the right button on the computer to get it, so now I finally got it going, and it's now aiming in your direction. Real good weather here. Well, we're freezing our patootie off. Um, normal high is about 76, and the last time I was out, it was about, about 455 degrees, but a 20-some mile an hour wind. It's ice cold. I mean, it's colder than normal. I get out. My wife was out golfing this morning. Wow. And she came back and said, it's terrible out there, freezing. So and it's been cold here, and it's supposed to be in the 60s all the rest of the week. I guess we should enjoy it, because you know what's going to happen here in the summer. Kilo Mike 6, Yankee Sierra Sierra, WA9 Mike Sierra Radio. Roger. I, uh, my wife uh, left for work a little bit ago, and she asked if she should wear a coat. I said, no, man, it's, we're in a warming spell. we got 44 degrees. Uh, it is mostly cloudy today, though. But uh, when the sun shines, even if it's 44, you know, when the sun shines here, even if it's, uh, you know, 30 or 20, it just doesn't feel cold. Um, not to me anyway. It's not till that wind starts blowing and the clouds come in that it starts to feel cold. But we're having some warmer weather, 44. I think we're supposed to get into, the, like, we were in the, I think, yes, over the weekend we had a high of around 58 or something like that. It was sunny. It was beautiful, beautiful weather. And uh, so, but I understand uh, if you're used to the 70s, you know, we used to live in California in the Central Valley, and uh, we hardly ever saw days under under 68, you know, 70, even in the wintertime. But uh, yeah, it's it's a big difference when you when you make the change. Did you guys always live down that way in Arizona, or did you retire there? Uh, back to you, Whiskey Alpha 9, Mexico Sierra uh, Radio from Kilo Mike 6, Yankee Sierra Sierra. 
Okay, Kilo Mike 6, Yankee Sierra Sierra, WA9 Mike Sierra, you're all good, Dave. Um, yeah, first things first, yeah. Uh, the call, my nine call, yeah, I'm an ex suburbanite of Chicago. Wow. Oh, Born my goodness. Oh, in my Chicago goodness. and got married and had kids and all that. And then my, uh, my job came to a, 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 a quick halt when I was working. They decided to. My job would be better off if I went to China. So um, I retired at about the age of 56, I think it was. Yeah, something like that. And I uh, spent about three years home, retired. Wifey was still working until she lost her job. And the winters got very long. You know, there's only so much radio you can do. And it was cold out, listening to the furnace turning on and off. And you couldn't get outside because you didn't fall on the ice or one of the better moves we made because this is a 55 or older community down here uh, some people call it Gummerland, Fossilville, God's Waiting Room God knows what they call it down here <laughs> anywho that's it we're down here we're happy as uh, a clam and I was kind of wondering what, what moved you from California to Idaho go ahead well it wasn't the weather it was definitely the politics and the uh, uh, the crime and all that and then when we visited up here my daughter and her husband moved to Idaho a year before we did he got a job up here and so we came to visit and see the grandkids and and when we did we just man we fell in love with the place and uh, I mean it's like going back to California as far as you know attitudes and behavior uh, you know the community it was like going back to the 70s or 60s in California just you know people are nice they're polite you know there's there's a there's a, just a, <clears throat> a kind of a happy-go-lucky kind of a attitude up here, and people, you know, are, are decent folks, you know, and that's one of the things. We, that's one of the things we didn't even realize we had missed. Uh, living in California, we we just day in day out working and doing what you do. You don't even realize how how bad things get until you leave and you see something that's more like what you know it ought to be, and that's that's our story. Um, so we we moved up here uh, three years ago. Um, and uh, we're now, my wife is working as a chaplain at the Idaho State Correctional Area Center uh, with the women's prison. I was working there also. I, I still work there part-time, but this is my first month of pulling my Social Security and kind of calling myself semi-retired. But uh, I know what I know about Chicago weather, my friend. I went back there when I was uh, just got out of the service, and I went to uh, college in uh, Indiana, in Maryville, Indiana, and worked out there in Maryville. And uh, those those winters, I, I've never seen anything like it. I was in the Coast Guard. I've been to Alaska, the Bering Sea. Uh, I've you know I've been on the East Coast and in snow and and, and uh, you know heavy blizzards and stuff. But man, nothing nothing compares to Chicago and that lake effect snow and it gets so cold. I remember having to uh, try to unfreeze my locks with a lighter at two o'clock in the morning when I got off of work. And man, what a what a miserable place that was. I, I don't know how anybody lives there. But uh, so we ended up uh, back out in California. And now I'm, you know, living here in Idaho. I was looking on your on your uh, QRZ page. I like that. I like that Kenwood radio. I'd like to get me one of those. I've I've often thought about trying to pick up a, a Kenwood and, and put it in here and and play with. It. I like I like all the bells and all the and the dials the dials and knobs. You know what I'm saying? And the uh, buttons. Looks like it'd be a lot of fun to learn to operate. So uh, this Cycom 7300 has been a good radio though. And I've got an I I've also got an Alinko DX. SR8, which was my first radio, and I use that for portable operations when I go out to do like POTA and that sort of thing. Um, anyway, back to you there, Roger. Yeah, Dave, are you still copying me? Yeah, I copy you, Roger. Are you copying me? Uh, you're back up again, but you were right down in the, mo the noise level on the last go on. That last, I missed the last oh, 15, 20 seconds. I Did you say you looked at my QRZ page? Yeah, I'm looking at your QRZ page now, and I was looking at your uh, radios. Uh, you just mentioned the Kenwood. I said I'd, I'd love to have one of those, and I thought about getting one because I, I just like the... I used to have a Swan 500 back in the 80s, and, uh, you know, of course, that's not even close to what you've got there, but um, still, it's just, uh, you know, kind of getting back to the dials and the knobs and the buttons and, you know, being able to fine-tune things a little more 
little more control over the, the sound and whatnot, over. Yeah, real good. Well, you're still down low, but I got all of that one. It's just the bands are changing. Yeah, well, real good on the Swan 500. I had a Swan 350. That was my first um, sideband or transceiver that I got when I first got the license when I got my from my uh, my general ticket. And I was young at that time, and my dad financed it. He uh, he loaned me the money to buy it, and I had to pay him back yeah. with interest, of course. So the Swan 350, I ran that until 1988, from 1965 until 1988, and when I bought this from the ICOM 70, or the Kenwood 940. So I'm not a big spender in radio equipment, as you can well tell. Uh, the other thing was I bought the uh, 7300 about oh, three years ago, I believe. When the prices were high, you know, I paid the full price for it, and now they're, they're a lot cheaper. But boy, that's one heck of a good on the radio. I do. I'm gonna get going on this one. I think we're gonna work the band to change into this not for the better. I'm gonna pass along the 73 to you. Best wishes for health and happiness to you and your family in the coming year. Hopefully we'll catch up again when the band conditions are a little bit better. Wish we could carry on a little longer with this, but I'm having one heck of a time copying it. I'll let you put the ribbons on it and if I can still copy. Kilo Mike 6, the Yankee Sierra Sierra. W89 Mike Sierra. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate the contact. I do want to tell you that I'm, I made a uh, video of our contact, and I'll upload that to YouTube uh, when we're done. You'll be able to find it on YouTube, searching your call sign. So if you search, if you search your call sign, Whiskey Alpha Nine, Mike Sierra Radio, you'll find it on uh, YouTube, and you'll be able to hear and see how you sounded on this end. Um, again, thanks for coming back. I know the band's fading in and out, so I may have already lost you, but. Again, 73, my friend. Thanks for the contact. Yeah, I think you turned it back to the 73. 